Let's spawn our entity inside of the world. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, we found some back intelligent ones more, and in this quite short tutorial, as you can clearly see, we are going to add our entity spawning inside of the world. Now, this, contrary to popular belief, it's super freaking simple, at least it is in Fabric. I mean, it's also not very complicated in Forge or NeoForge. But regardless, let's take a look at what we can do. In our world gen package, we're simply going to add a new Java class called the Mod Entity Spawns. Here, we're going to have a singular public static void add spawns method, which is going to basically be responsible to add all of the spawns for each one of our different mobs. In this case, we only have the Mantis, so there you go. Here, we're going to call biome modifications dot add spawn, passing in biome selectors. And here we can then once again select different biomes. So let's say include by key biome keys dot let's say planes and biome keys dot let's say where else do we want to spawn this where maybe the maybe the cherry grove. Why not? Then after the first closing parenthesis, we want to do a spawn group. This is going to be creature. Then whatever entity it is. So mod entities dot mantis. Then we want to define the weight, so let's say 30, the minimum group size and the maximum group size. And you can see that is all of it. Now, when it comes to, well, the spawn group should be, you know, it's, it's the creature, that's fair. But then the question is, what are these three numbers? So the weight basically determines how often your custom entity is going to spawn in each one of these different biomes. Now, what's quite important here is, that, yes, you can increase this to, let's say, like 5,000. And then your entity would spawn basically all the time. However, it will also decrease the amount of times that other mobs will spawn. So don't put your weight up too high. Very, very important. And the minimum group size and maximum group size, well, those two are, I mean, I think that those are self-explanatory, right? It's going to spawn at least one and it's going to maximally spawn two. There you go. Now, there's one more thing we do want to add, and that is a spawn restriction that register for the mod entities that mantis. Then here we want to do on ground. This is going to be the spawn location type spawn location types that on ground we then want the motion blocking no leaves and lastly animal entity colon colon is valid natural spot so idea here is that we have a predicate right here at the end that basically determines hey is it enough light level you know do we have like blocks that we can spawn on things like that that is what this determines in theory you can also make your own predicate here if you so choose to. The motion blocking no leaves, the idea here is that this is simply going to spawn on, well, non-leave blocks, number one, that's quite important here, and also basically no fluids. So there you go. Lastly, we have the on ground. Well, you can also have it spawn in lava, in water, or unrestricted. I suggest on ground for most, uh, you know, different entities in that case. To finish this all up, the mod entity spawns method or this add spawns method will be called right here in our mod world generation class mod entity spawns dot add spawns. In theory, of course, if you don't have world gen, then you can simply call this specific method in your tutorial mod on initialize method as well. And that will also work with that done. We can jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, back in Minecraft. Now, I think that this is actually already a plains biome. However, how likely is it that there are going to be any mantises nearby? Well, that is, well, I guess we'll see. And let's just fly around until I find some. And look at that. There is a mantis over here just spawning inside the world. Absolutely fantastic. And that is spawns added to world. Gen. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add custom mob sounds. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.